This is how I um, set up the control of my RC rescue boat. It's just one of many ways that it can be done. Uh, I'm just using three fixed motors, two for forward, one for reverse, with differential thrust uh, for steering. You could also do it if you had um, BL Heli reversing ESCs. Uh, you could get away with two motors. You wouldn't need the reverse motor. It probably wouldn't go as more as efficiently in reverse because you'd be using these props uh, backwards. Uh, you could also do it with one motor with reversing software and uh, thrust vectoring. Uh, but this is just my basic what I had in the in the spares department um, set up. And it's all done with uh, curves. Uh, and I'll just show you how it works. It's all my controllers using the elevator and aileron stick and um, push it forward and two motors spool up to push it forward pull back and the reverse motor spools up to turn right the left motor spools up turn left the right motor spools up and I can also combine one forward motor and the reverse motor to get it to spin on the spot very very manoeuvrable but you have to get a bit tricky because the throttle uh, is expecting to go from zero uh, up to full using the throttle lever which is going from the the bottom position up to the top position whereas I'm using the elevator aileron stick which sits in the middle so I want to change the throttle settings so that the zero position is in the center and it goes from zero to a hundred up the top zero to a hundred out to the side and zero to a hundred down the bottom all done by curves so I'll show you how that's done now control is achieved by uh, four different curves applied to the uh, elevator and aileron sticks curve one is for forward thrust uh, on both of the forward motors curve one gives no throttle from full down to the center movement of the elevator stick and zero to hundred percent throttle from center position to the full up of the elevator stick Curve 2 is the same thing for the reverse motor. So it gives zero throttle when the elevator is full up and down to the centre position and then zero to 100% throttle going from the centre position to full down of the elevator stick. Ailerons left and right gives uh, differential thrust. Curve 3 is for the right motor just spooling up when the uh, aileron uh, stick goes from centre over to the right. And curve 4 is for the left motor just spooling up um, when the aileron lever goes over to the left. <coughs> I initially had these curves going right down to zero uh, but that didn't work um, so I had to move those two points up to the uh, centre position basically uh, and that's because the two mixes are adding together so minus 100 from the uh, elevator stick and minus 100 from the aileron stick prevented the motor working at all. So if we've got minus 100 from the elevator stick and zero from the aileron stick then we get the correct uh, operation.